Welcome back everybody. We are here again in the single player world in our favorite city and we are building a palace today. In fact, today is going to be the first time touching the very palace part of the palace, not just the gardens. We've we've been doing gardens for two episodes. It's too much gardening. We've just we're all gardened out. In fact, I'm so gardened out, I did a bit more gardening as well. So, be prepared. We're about to see not only the north garden completely finished or sort of finished the north side. Uh, we've also got the south side finished as well. I'm sure you probably don't really get the directions. In fact, if, if you had asked me without me knowing where the sun goes down in this place, I would have said that's north, that's west, that's south, and that's east. Just purely by the fact that I, I run from this, this part over here, which is actually the east part right there, to that side. That's just the way we've been building. And I want to quickly address something while, we, while we're at it. While it's in my, in my head right now, because else I'm going to forget it, and then people are going to keep wondering. And I do address it every now and then, but I, I forget about it, and then I forget that maybe some people didn't hear me address it, or some people are new. And, by the way, welcome, if you're new. And if you didn't hear it, or you forgot, or maybe you've been wondering for a while, this city, where we're building this palace, in fact, maybe, maybe a good little fly, you know, we'll do a fly a bit later, you get, you'll get the picture. Right, so where we're doing this palace right here, you can tell there's stuff that isn't quite finished going towards the palace. There's stuff that doesn't exist anywhere else past the palace, and that doesn't mean that there will be just nothing existing past there. The The thing with this palace is we need to create the whole thing, and then we know how far we can go, and then we can start adding stuff in the other side there. Well, at least, maybe not even the whole thing before we can start adding, at least just knowing exactly where we're going to be stopping. That's all we need to know, just where we stop. And, by the way, next episode, I think I have to fix this one up before we start the episode. It's been three episodes that I've seen this place. It looks... Ugh. Ugh. All right. On my list. We're going to do that stuff. So that's that's the, the thing. So I, I see people still wondering if we're going to be doing stuff behind here. We will. Don't worry. We've got this. We've got this. Trust me. We've got this. All right. So walking in here, look at this. It's got, it's got a definite different vibe to the rest of the city. And that's very powerful for us because I, I don't want to sit with the whole place looking exactly the same. In fact, it's almost what's a little bit annoying about what we've done here already is everything just looks the same over and over again. I've tried changing up a few things, but... It's very difficult, very, very difficult to get something original in here when everything just has the same color palette. And today's whole theme is really about color palettes. So, uh, not exactly the boring, normal way that people do it. I think uh, I've got a weird take on it, uh, which isn't that outrageous, but it's a little bit different to, I think, what a lot of people do. Uh, so, while we do that, let's walk through our new garden, by the way. And what, what I was saying is uh, 1.13 will be releasing a lot new of new subtle variations in color of the brown colors which is going to be awesome for us of course a few stair blocks and stuff we'll be able to get new roofs and that's going to help us out in this city a lot but what i want to do here being completely different to the city the palace has got the ability to have whatever it wants it's rich it's wealthy kind of similar things i guess the same thing but that's fine ignore it it's just two words for the same thing it just adds on to the the power of it the message and what we can do with this is we can now, because specifically, as I say, walking up here, it's got a completely different vibe. We can now try to our best ability, of course, get a brand new color palette that can complement what we've got up here. And not only complement what we've got up here, still from a distance, fit in with the rest of the city. So it's a very difficult thing because I want a new vibe. I've got this new vibe, but I need to stick with this. And with this. So we're going to be doing that today. And that's where we come in, of course. And also a little bit of a challenge, I was thinking. I, uh, I think some people may enjoy this, of course. But we'll get to the challenge soon enough. Where's the sun? Okay, miles away. Alright. So what I want to do here, and this is, this is where we kind of challenging ourselves, is I've been building stuff on an angle for a while now. It's It's been probably a month or two since I first ever tried building buildings uh, outside of the normal grid, which it sounds kind of weird to say it but yeah we, we we've been building things a bit differently recently and it's been a very good progress uh, that we've had we've been practicing we've been doing some different stuff and it's it's really looking good in my opinion i think i think some of these things at a weird angle for instance that roof there it just it works so much better it just makes your whole build and your whole village and anything in your world look so much more organic and we we're out of this stuff but that's fine that's that's all we need so what i want to do here in this palace is do this at just a little bit of an angle. We're still going to be going pretty much in line with these blocks, but the walls on that side, the walls going across here, and these walls here are going to be at the slightest of angles, and I think that's going to help us 
get a very good look to this place, just a very subtle change in it that you might not even notice because it's going to be so large, you may not even notice the difference, but it's going to, of course, uh, make a difference when you look at it without even realizing it. Uh, I hope that'll look really good. By the way, uh, when I leave blocks around, this is just a little tip, I don't normally leave the block. I've probably changed the same block 50 times. So, for instance, this is not textured. It will be textured a bit better. We'll get there eventually. But that's, that's right. That's not for today. Today we've got some other things. So let's get started on this. I've been thinking about it. And actually, this is something that we're doing today. Is is inspired from a comment from, I think, the last episode. Or could be two episodes ago. Which was n something I wasn't going to be using for this. But I think we will be. and Or at least giving it a good try. And that is using some terracotta. Uh, being one of these, for the walls of this place. And as I say, today's getting the palette right at least as close as possible. Of course, if you've got some stuff to throw in, uh, yeah, this is this is where you can do it. And by the way, this wall that I'm building here, it's it's probably going to get knocked down. I've kind of just, uh, I've just put it in my head that I'm probably going to be knocking down what we are doing today. It's just a, a temporary thing to, to get the, the picture, you know, get the idea of it. And uh, we'll, we'll rebuild it if we get it right. So... I'm thinking with these windows, and what I've looked at with a lot of palaces is we're going to be going for something slightly m more modern, if that makes sense. Uh, hopefully hopefully you guys will, will catch up in the next few episodes, of course, what I mean by that, because I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> but uh, we'll be going for something very different to what I was expecting originally. Um, this, is, this is fine. So what we have to do here is we have to get something that's large, kind of extravagant, but also subtle enough to fit in with everything as well. So uh, picture this, right? We've got these large walls, large windows, and we've got to get some detail in there. But the problem is over detailing might not look too good, which is something we do employ, uh, employ a lot uh, in these sorts of builds. Maybe not right here. I've got really bad examples, man. I've got to step my game up in this area. I've just got to fill in this bit, do a bit over there. And yeah, we, we got some things to finish, but that's fine. Uh, but basically, the idea is adding in the, the details without overdoing the details, I think will be very important for us. So here we go. This is where I'm thinking, right? We're going to be making a wall that's going to have our window, and it's going to have a few different things that we're going to be using that we can kind of take and, and place in other places here. So looking at this, I want the ground to have one, two, probably like three or four blocks roughly there. I want to be where the first level of this place is. So it's it's elevated quite nicely off the ground. And you know what we'll do? We'll place, um, hmm. Yeah, a bit of that in just to, to mark it. In fact, we'll place it around here on the back so that when we do come around to it, we don't have to have to lose our spot when we replace it. So that is where we're at and we'll just place that there. And now what we want to do is we want to add a window in. We want to add a few little things in. So first of all, window, I think a window of five blocks might be a bit wide. So we've done seven wide here. And we always go an odd number, but doing seven wide here, uh, five wide window, I think would be a bit extravagant, but I'm willing to give it a go. But uh, I'll go for a three wide window now. And if we do a five wide window, it'll probably be a special window in any case. So uh, we'll, we'll mess around with that. So here we go. Let's go down there and we'll do another one in here. And this is, of course, going to be my favorite style of window, man. I love this window style. Uh, we came up with it a, a while ago uh, in these these places over here. If you guys haven't seen it, I went, went around it. And showed you guys probably about I don't know, a few episodes ago, but that's not important. What is important is getting a pretty window in here. So we said we would start first floor around that level there. So the window would have to be from about yeah. Okay, well we could probably go down to the ground. That's fine. Uh, we could go down to the ground. And I'm going to be using some colors from what we've used already, and others from uh, of course new introductions. Uh, first of all, this is actually this has been part of my color palette for a while now. The what is that? Um, Cyan terracotta. It's it's been around for a while. I use it in a lot of edge pieces in my builds, just to to fill in pieces between walls and and uh, walls and supports. I guess would be the thing. Pillars, really. Pillars next to them. But although nothing actually makes sense in, in Minecraft for us building, but you'll you'll get what I mean. So let's go up here. What is that? One, two, three. Uh, is that six or five? Five. Yeah, it'll be all right. I honestly don't know what I'm going for here. We we just kind of just playing around with this. Freestyling, seeing what we come up with. By the way, this is something I've been wanting to prank people with forever, but I'm never on a server. But doing that, and someone comes up to their chest, they're like, oh, why, why can't I place something in my chest? And you, you know, you, eventually if they place it by hand, they'd figure it out. But I always thought that would be a real mean trick to do. But you know, listen, give me some credit when you guys use it. I know, I know someone's going to use it. Use it. Use it wisely. 
do do it do with it what you must uh okay let's get that in there give me that let's go check it out okay tell you what that looks a bit weird we'll quickly sleep before we get attacked and then we'll be fine so night go away please go away goodbye thank you and i guess i can just do something like this and we can we can wait around yeah perfect all right so let's step back here get rid of this and we're doing little by little. In fact, I'm kind of surprised we've, we've been able to do as much so far uh, on camera, of course. So yeah, that seems like it'll be a, a solid size window. It'll be up high. It'll it'll be a good kind of shape in general. Good, yeah, good size. And of course, it, that's not the, the good looking parts of it. We just, we're just getting the shape and now we're going to start making it look a little bit nicer as well. So what I've, what I've looked at from looking at a lot of real life castles, which... I don't always like to do when I, I do these sorts of things. Uh, look at castles and stuff. Uh, well, uh, palaces, sorry, and, uh, and go too much off what they do originally. But I think there are some very cool things to take away from it. And uh, and we'll be, we'll be messing around with these, of course, today. So going out here, we've got this piece. We've got this over here. How far deep do we go with this place in this direction? Do we go out like that? Because my instinct is to put one there, but that's going to leave this place specifically on a very large scale looking very weird. So if we push one of those in there, maybe, and we go up, oh, yeah, of course, the one time I, I misclick there, it'll misclick around there. So if we go up around here, this will create a little bit of a, a circular feel to it, of, of the bulge at least of the window. Yeah, so it'll go around there, we'll go another one in here, and... What we are going to do is we're going to do this window over here, the larger window, and, and this comes from my little bit of research into, into palaces and just trying to find some fundamentals in it to at least give us a little bit of a, a look at what palaces should be looking like, I guess. And this is something you'll find in many of them. In fact, uh, Buckingham Palace even has this, this particular idea in it where you've got a window down here, a big one, and you've got a slightly smaller one up the top, and it seems to be a pretty standard thing a lot of windows with kind of uniform uh i guess uniformity to it where you've got one and then another then one and then another there are some where they've got a whole bunch of small ones on the top and a few larger ones on the bottom and i think a lot of the time what it does for it is it, it adds a, a bit of perspective to it so it looks like from the bottom you're looking up at a very grand place because the windows are so small up the top but really they they might be a few feet away from the biggest window but they just look like they are are so much larger that's my theory I don't know if it's true, but it's my theory currently, and I'm going to stick to it. You can't, you, you could change my mind, but, <laughs> uh, okay. So let's, let's try something like that there. And do we go up? Let's, yeah, let's just do that. And okay. I think I actually might need to go up one more, or we could just do this. Let's just do this. This will, this will work for our ideas. Don't have to, don't have to overdo it. I've got this, this feeling that I just need to keep overdoing things. How about, how about we just play it cool? Try out a few th different things. Uh, did I put that on that level? I did. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. And this one in here and that one in there. And this around like that. Get rid of this. And now I think we should have a reasonably decent size and shape to this thing. So if we go around there and go in here like that. Let's just jump down and see if this is a, if this is a decent enough shape. Yeah, I think that I think that will work. So the other thing that I was thinking about is changing up the pallets because this is where the pallet comes into it. What are we going to be using for these blocks? I think up to this level, I might cut it off here and do a brick or something like that down in the middle here, and maybe on the sides here something different below where we cut that. So that'll that'll kind of tell us where the floor is. Then we'll go up and we'll keep this cyan or whatever type of terracotta or whatever other block goes in. We'll keep that going up as well. I just want to make sure that this is a good size. And in fact, I've just realized I haven't shown you guys what this other garden looks like. We kind of just walked through it and... Oh, dang it. That was so close. <laughs> uh, we kind of just walked through it and we didn't didn't actually take a look at what it's like. So I might just quickly do that. Let's just jump up there and... Please don't die. There we go. And yeah, we'll just do one more. Like that. All right. So this over here does a little bit of a different bend where this one does this very cool swirl into itself. This one here goes, uh, well, you go in here, you can walk either side around this pond into here and uh, of course do whatever you want to do there. So that's that's the, the two differences. So I wanted to make them similar, but a little bit different. I think we've got a good thing there. So from here, we'll go up probably another 
seven or eight blocks there. We'll have another smaller window on that. And I want to just play around pushing around a few blocks with this as well. Let's just try very quickly. This should be actually quite a simple thing to do. Uh, see what this, this uh, what is it, light gray, I think it actually says silver, right? When I think when you place it in, in the F3 screen, this actually says silver. Uh, I want to see what this looks like. I... I Honestly, don't really like this block a lot of the time. The color doesn't quite work for a lot of a lot of applications, but I want to give it a go and, and just see if maybe we can find a little bit of love for this block. So we'll go here, change up a few of these. Let's just get let's just get the top changed up first. Just like that. And I'll, I'll get that cyan stuff that falls down there. Don't don't you panic. It's very, very expensive, this stuff for me. There we go. We'll just go down here and, and see if it does make a, a good change. It might brighten up the area a bit, which is is probably a good thing. Although, although the, the the bone block that we currently use does do a very, a very good job of brightening stuff up. So there, get rid of these. And I still have the other side to do, right? I think. I think I do. There we go. Alright. Yeah, close enough. Perfect. So, uh, I've, I've left a bit in there. That's fine. Just for testing. And... Coincidentally, we're going to land up with almost the perfect amount of these. To the block, it looks like. There 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 and well get me that last one and actually this doesn't matter we can we can still see what we want to what we want to see and oh what i'm seeing doesn't look too good but we'll we'll still give it a go oh that was what i wanted to do you know what it kind of gives me that feel of like a, a 90s hotel i don't know why like it kind of I don't really like it, <laughs> like pink painted walls, I guess. I don't even know if it's nice, but that's that's when I grew up, and I feel like I feel like that's what it kind of looks like. Kind of, I don't, I, I don't know if I really like that. It's a little bit too pink for me, but that's that's the block, of course, and we'll, we've given it a go. Maybe the dark, like the proper gray could work, and that window is in. Now, before we go around this corner, we're going to have a look at the height of this, and also the challenge. I forgot about that. I forget about these things. Good thing we caught ourselves. The challenge is building on angles. Give it a go. Try to build a wall on an angle. I guarantee you, you'll learn a bunch about building you've never even thought about. Because you know what? After the amount of stuff I've done, and I know there's many people with much more experience than me, that's probably been the the most learning in a while. So give that a go. I, I implore you to do that. So here we go. That, that was, the, by the way, the correct word compared to what I was trying to mess up earlier. So got, got that all covered. There we go. So this is what we're looking at right now. Nothing crazy, but I think it's got the window. It's got it's got a bit of stuff going on. I think it's looking all right. Let's get into it. Let's do some cool stuff because I just left this here as a, a temporary change. The the light gray terracotta. I think we want to try change that up, and I've got a plan for it. So we'll see how it goes. Now over here. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, we'll give us another go. So back here. Back here and. Actually, I might be very lucky and be able to hit that wall. Okay, and uh, and do that. Okay, this this seems like it's gonna be two episodes in a row of me me dying somehow. But that's alright. Oh, I actually hit here. That's pretty lucky. So if we can get up onto this and just onto that there, eat before we end up doing some bad stuff. There we go. So what I was saying is, over there I've got a plan, and, and that is to push it in a little bit more than what it is right now. In fact, we'll just drop down here, and from here we can jump onto there. Should be able to, I think, height-wise. Yeah, in fact, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this in any case, so we'll do this. Man, I'm, I'm real clumsy today. So if we can get up here for it, oh, that's that's it. We, we're probably going to end up falling to our death again. Man. <laughs> This is so bad. I, I'm normally all right with ender pills. So here we go. If we can get rid of these, we're able to get a pretty cool little like ridge in here with two stairs. I think that will look real cool. And it'll just add a bit more detail, a bit more depth to it without overdoing things like this. Let's just let's just test it out. I've, I've been wanting to use this for a while now, and I think this is the time we get to use this, this little combo over here. So something like that. Let's just take a mini step out. Okay, something like that. We also need to support these. So maybe a block in there, like this and that, and then there and there could work. Or we could still do this, but I think that'll look a bit weird, yeah. Let's just do something I haven't done in a very long time. Bam. 
one of these. These chiseled uh, chiseled stone blocks. I see a lot of people use them a lot, but I, I must admit I'm not normally the biggest of fans of them, but I'm gonna give them a go. Let's see if it works. If it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, I can say goodbye to those chiseled brick blocks for a while. Or chiseled stone blocks. Sorry. Here we go. I like it. I actually do. Uh, it's it's not exactly what I was picturing it looking like, but I kind of like it. By the way, with with this piece on this side here, the the roof, and uh, we'll we'll finish that piece on that side there. Uh, the roof is going to be, I'm thinking, reasonably flat. It's not going to be very tall. And what I've what I've been thinking about is doing one of those things where you got like a bit of a. It looks like a railing over the the top of the roof, and then the roof starts. And uh, it's probably a bad explanation of it. So you know what, you will we'll see when we get there. We'll see what what we feel like on the day, and that'll that'll end up making the rest of this. So, of course, what we've done is we've figured out the, the color palette mostly, but there's something I, I've been meaning to work in, which we worked in last time over here, and that is quartz. Oh, whoops, sorry, flowers. And that. No, got to get this right. That and that. So the the pattern, no, not the pattern, sorry. The, the, the palette that we've got, I think, works quite well, but I'm trying to get in quartz into here. Quartz is a block that's going to add a lot of life. It's very, very light, of course. And I think what could be cool, and we need one of these to be cool, there. And I'll just put this in a sneaky hidden spot for now. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's the sneaky hidden spot right there. All right, so let's do some of those and how many we've got there into... Wait, how do we do pillars? Are pillars like this? Oh, whole blocks. Okay, interesting. All right. Never mind. I thought the pillars were the other way. It shows you how much I use quartz. In fact, I've just gone and mined this quartz up. And quartz is... Man, quartz is a pretty rough block to get. I forget about it every time. Quartz is such a such a bad block to get. It's, well, bad for you if you're digging it up everywhere. It's, it's so rare to find that quartz. It's... Uh, yeah, crazy. I, uh, I take my hat off to people who build with a lot of quartz. Although, I, I think it's, it's definitely not warranted with all those... Those blockiness, the blockiness of it. Uh, I can see. Yeah, I don't know why I would need a lot of coal. So let's uh, let's go in a coal, not quartz. Yeah, I think we can make this work because as soon as we put another block in on this side, it's going to be very shaded. You can see here we've got like the the dynamic lighting or whatever the lighting is, the the improved shadows when they they go on these blocks, it makes such a great difference. So we'll do it on this side here. And this is going to be what's going to be separating this wall from it, whatever wall we put next to it. I'm, I'm not too sure if we're going to repeat these walls over and over again. We'll probably have a few walls where they're just plain blank walls. And is that all we got there? 16? Yeah, that's fine. It's, it's still, at least we won't be able to do it on the other side, but it'll still give us the, the idea that we want. Yeah, look at that. Now, of course, picture this and picture it again and again and again next to each other with a little bit of a, a gap between them, also a bit of an angle. I think this could work. I'm actually very happy with what we got here. The only thing, and I, I did bring up some blocks for it, just in case we were going to go with it, and that were, was some of those. The only thing we need to do, I think, to make this over here feel a bit more complete will be adding in a bit of the texture to this, and, and not too much, of course, because this is a well-maintained, well-run establishment. Maybe just two of those in there, and we'll try it out now. Oh, wait, there we go. We're good. Yeah, look at that. Just a little bit of a change. I'll get the bottom in with some stone and stuff when we get there. In fact, it's probably going to work quite well when we've got that there. But tell me what you think. I'd love to know. And also, I'd love to know how your challenges go. But for today, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and say, great episode, great start to the palace, hopefully. If not, you tell me and I'll, I'll fix it. Also, I, I realize now I wanted to put a block in right there, so I've got to remember to do that. Uh, but any ideas would be very good ideas. So if you guys have got them, leave them down in the comment section and tell me what you think. So thank you very much for joining me here today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.